The world's richest man has learned there's one thing money can't buy, privacy. Jeff Bezos is going head to head with the National Enquirer over the tabloids publishing of his private text messages. And this morning, a stunning new report claims that someone close to Bezos is responsible for the leak. This morning, we're learning new details about how the National Enquirer allegedly obtained racy text messages and nude selfies sent between billionaire Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and his girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez. According to the Wall Street Journal, who cites people familiar with the matter, the billionaire's messages were actually sold to the tabloid by Sanchez's brother, Michael, for $200,000. NBC News has not been able to corroborate that. The Journal reporting Michael Sanchez refused to dignify claims that he signed a contract with AMI, the parent company of the Inquirer, saying the report was based on old rumors. Last month, in an interview with Vanity Fair writer Gabriel Sherman, who was also an NBC News contributor, Sanchez denied he was involved in the leaks. Michael Sanchez says that his sister Lauren frequently showed the pictures to people, including himself, and that perhaps one of her girlfriends uh, leaked the picture. According to the Bombshell Inquirer report, in addition to below-the-belt photos, Bezos also sent flirtatious texts to Sanchez, including one where he writes, I love you alive, girl. I will show you with my body and my lips and my eyes very soon. The source of the leak has consumed Bezos, igniting a battle between him and the tabloid. In a widely read essay on Medium that came out after the Inquirer's expose, Bezos revealed that he had his own security team trying to determine the source of the leaked messages. He also claimed the tabloid attempted to extort and blackmail him by threatening to release more messages and private photos unless he stopped investigating how they were obtained. Bezos writing in part, Of course, I don't want personal photos published, but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. Adding, I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. An attorney for American media CEO David Pecker telling ABC News last month that the Bezos story was based on good journalism. It absolutely is not extortion and not blackmail. The day before the Inquirer's article, Bezos announced he was splitting from his wife of 25 years. Since then, Bezos and Sanchez have kept a relatively low profile, not appearing together in public. The world watching as this very public battle unfolds over a very private affair. NBC News has reached out to AMI, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, Lauren Sanchez, and her brother for comment, but we have not heard back from any of them.